not just barbecue cooking here and we've got the grill fired up on Memorial Monday <laughs> got the firebox going we're gonna take that up to 300 degrees and then we're gonna throw some ribs on there So you're cutting off excess fat? So these ribs were what, St. Louis? They will be St. Louis once I get them trimmed. Okay, so they're spares and yeah. you're gonna trim them up into St. Louis? Yeah. <laughs> So you're trimming it up to the bone? Yep. As much as I can. I'm not trimming these for competition, so I'm putting a lot of effort into them. Just enough to feed the family, right? <laughs> and whatever uh, neighbors show up. <laughs> Other neighbors go out. Earl's already said, let me get dressed and I'll be over. Yeah, you know, considering our grill stands out in the middle of the street, or out in the street. So now you're getting ready to do what? Clean off the membrane. So you're just grabbing the thin layer of skin? The silver skin on the back. Get underneath it, underneath the third or fourth bone. Just peel right up. Paper towel helps with the gripping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're doing baby backs. We got two different type of ribs that we're cooking today. Um, those have already been cleaned. Looks like they've already been peeled. Peeled. See the difference? This one hasn't been peeled, that one has. Why do you put the mustard on it? 
It helps the seasoning stick. Does it add any flavor to the meat? Hardly any. Okay, so what are you doing now? Put some rub on. And they can use their favorite barbecue rub. They don't have to use competition rub. No. Don't have to tell them any secrets. So I'm doing it at home with probably topping rub. And with it being a garlic jalapeno rub, doesn't mean it's spicy, spicy, right? No. <clears throat> this is Rib Dominator, <clears throat> Oak Ridge Barbecue. We just have it in a different shaker. So how do you know how much rub to put on it? Not enough, too much? Just a good coating. Years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to get a good layer on it. And garlic jalapeno rub will make you sneeze. Don't sneeze. This is the top side of the meat, so. Want a good coating? Want it to look nice and pretty. Okay, so we've got the ribs all seasoned. He's checking on the grill, and hopefully we'll get those on the fire here soon. So you're spraying some Pam on there so the ribs don't stick? Yep. <laughs> Looks like, looks like, oh, looks like the grill's up to temp. Got it up to 300, just a little above, but it's up to 300 and ready for ribs. Hey, it looks like we got some ribs on. Now, how long will those cook? Two hours before I wrap them. Okay, so the ribs have been on the grill for about two, two and a half hours, smoking at 300 degree. Uh, what kind of wood were you doing? Pecan. Pecan. We're going to pull them off and wrap them up. So we put some parquet down and about a handful of brown sugar. And what's that, a special rib place that you buy? Apple habanero. Apple hab habanero rib glaze. I believe it's from Cosmo. I have to repeat the process again. Put some more parquet, some brown sugar. Let's 
some more rib glaze. Some people do honey instead of rib glaze. It just depends on what your preference is and how you want to cook your ribs. So this is heavy foil, and you've got what, two, three sheets? Two. Two sheets. I'm just going to wrap those up. If you use two sheets, less of a chance of popping a hole in it. Well, so it keeps everything inside too, right? Leaking. Table's about to give. Okay, so he's got to wrap up the rest of the ribs and then we're going to put those back on the grill, continuing with the 300 degrees for how much longer? Another hour or two? Two hours. Another two hours. Okay, so how long have they been on now? They've been on for two hours? Two hours wrapped. Two hours wrapped at 300 degrees still. And he's going to go ahead and pull those off. It's a little hot. Okay, so what are we going to do with those now? Empty them. Put some... Uh Go. Okay, so he's opened them all out and sort of folded the foil to make like the little boat dishes so that he doesn't get any of this on his grill, sort of help clean up. So now we're going to add some barbecue sauce. And what kind of barbecue sauce are you using? This is Loot and Booty. And we'll put a link in the description for them. One of the competition teams that does barbecue sauce.
it was probably what about one jar of barbecue sauce mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay so now we're going to put them back on the grill again still at 300 degrees for what another hour 20 30 minutes 20 30 minutes sort of cooks the sauce into the ribs finalizes the ribs okay so the ribs have been on for 20 30 minutes we're going to cut up some ribs That does smell good. Tina, you smell them? You smell them? Puppy smells them. Uh oh, puppy got a piece. So the first ones was spares and these are the baby backs? No, those were baby backs. These oh, those the were the baby backs. These are the spares. One hand wasn't going to do that. There was only two racks. Got two more to go. Going to go in. Well, that's a taste. Mmm. It's good. Even though you did that jalapeno garlic and the apple habanero whatever it's not hot okay so now i'll do a baby back mm, look at the smoke ring so mm, these are a little more tender but these are good That's a little heat on the back of that one. I think I can take the, is it the apple? Apple, no, or apple rib? habanero. Yeah. Mmm. I like the baby backs. Mmm. <clears throat>